Morning everyone. How is everyone? Sorry I haven't been, I've been away for about a week and a bit there now. I've been ill. Oh man, floored to be honest. So I just couldn't get into the motivation. It's just honestly terrible. But back there now and this is a clue to what we're going to be doing today or what video you're going to be watching today. It is all about fire. Yes. What we did is I'm going to take you over the process. We've installed a wood burning stove. So I thought you'd like to see the whole kind of process and even building like an outside log storage unit and the, the actual process of getting the fire put in and the money shot, lighting it there. So anyway, let's come along for the ride. Right, this is just a little quick shot then of the before. Because like we get, what we intend to do or what we are doing is we're getting some builders in tomorrow and hopefully over two days they're going to take out that fireplace, build it back a little bit and then put in one of those log burning stoves. So that's the, <laughs> this is our plan over the next week or so. And what I want to do as well is build like a wood storage outside. So just hopefully incorporate everything in this. I know this is not gardening, but it's, you know, it's a kind of, I suppose, a big event in our little world. So I'll, I'll show you how I build this wood, wood log storage. And then we'll come back, you know, maybe after the first day and see what they've done there. And then the second day, and then we'll have a lighting of the fire if all goes well. So I'm going to build with that, and it looks quite a lot of wood there. <laughs> I've, ordered, I've ordered too much. I'm going to build like a wood storage unit there. So I can put the wood on and dry it. That's, that's the thing. And I'll take you through this process of getting a kind of wood burning fire as well. What I'll do with this, I'll, with this build here, I'll just put this on a time lapse at the back of the camera. Because you don't hear me waffling on about it. I'll just kind of insert it somewhere. Right? <laughs> People don't. <laughs> Crack on. So, even at 600 times faster, I realised that I was taking, there was a lot of standing around with a pencil in my mouth, gut hanging out, looking like that. So, I've just cut that and it's finished now. So, I'll give you a look at it in a second or two. And cost-wise, this whole thing was probably around about 170 pound a build. <laughs> Bloody hell. But it was lots of little things. The wood is not too bad, but two boxes of screws, you know, there's like, say, almost like eight pound each for them. Then I wanted to do, and I'll show, I wanted to have a roof, like a leaf effect with the wood, but I worked it out wrong and it was, it was too, gonna be too much money. So I just went to buy a roll of felt 
as well so anyway let's show you it and there we go that is <laughs> the baby yeah so it's actually quite I mean, it's a fair old size to be quite honest so I'm hoping I might get three maybe four dumpy bags in there that's the roof I don't know if you can see where like I say I wanted to do like a tear like a lie you know like a like a, a leaf effect of the but it was working out where this actual you know see if there's another one on there then another one there the depth of it because I'd already cut the angle along that side they would have to probably with it lying on top of each other we're probably going to go up another three quarters of a foot you know so I was like ah so and you only notice mind you when it's all that not straight you know you can hide your hide your marks from now with them there I took those off twice to kind of line them up and do them straight you know yes you have wallpaper and I have a plumb line but you could have made it as straight as possible but then it's not straight on the ground it's about three inches out anyways so that's my excuse I'm sticking to it so that's that done there now that is it I'm quite to be honest I'm quite chuffed with it you know what I mean it's just it's something nice to kind of tackle and you know like do so I'm going obviously I'm going to put some now some safety lights up there and some alarms as well just to be on the safe side but that's it so you can see now as well we're in dust sheet heaven oh dear me that's all my little workstation there man don't lie your way and because we've got like it's kind of two rooms you can see daisy sitting there i've got this put up there now ready for them coming in the morning and what you doing? What you doing? Hi. First time you've been lying there. You're not lying when I'm trying to edit. Right, so, like I say, dust. Dust sheet heaven. And that is the fireplace that's going to go out. Give me a better look at it. Just turn around. There you go. I mean, we've actually painted that. You know what I mean? It was. It's never been a, you know, it is a chimney breast here. But it's never been like a fireplace. So hopefully not be using that much longer. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm just showing you like a series of photographs and it's purely just because I didn't want to kind of get in their way, you know what I mean? I was like, oh man, and I think, you know what I mean, because he was a lotman grower and I kept, you know, and I, I felt even myself that I was Tony, step back, let them get on with it. And my wife kept on, they'll never finish, you keep on pestering them. So this was the first photograph that I took when they actually first of all ripped out that cast iron fireplace there and he was a bit concerned that it, it might not you know come out all in one piece and you know the intention was you know since i kind of started this was to kind of sell it but when you look around there's not that many you know they're not selling and you go to shops and they're even saying well they're not selling these days you know so whatever we do with that cast iron fireplace we'll just wait and see but that was the original hole that not the original hole that was the hole that was built for the cast iron fireplace then we it, what was great is then he called he actually called us in and we're seeing this one now this arch one this is the original one and he had to kind of get this kind of big huge muckle drill hammer drill big thing and he you know he just kind of jemmied all them bricks away put them into a pile and revealed you know like the the, the original fireplace and we must have quite a few you know like because we've got we've got a chimney breast in the kitchen we've got one in this living room we've got one in the other living room you know so it's it's been a, like a big old house in its day and you know really powered by the kind of the coal industry that it kept warm now what was fun then it was a bit squeamish for everyone was there was some seagulls in. There was four dead seagulls in the chimney breast. And that was always their biggest concern. Not like dead birds, but being blocked. And he says, normally jackdaws will just keep on dropping sticks in and sticks in. And he says, sometimes you go to them and it's this pile of sticks is right up the chimney breast. Do you know what I mean? Right up. But all we had was seagulls. Now, when we first moved in here, well, we're probably talking about 10 year ago now. It wasn't because we've been in about 20 odd year now. It's about 10 year ago. We woke up one morning. 
And there was a baby seagull running around in this living room, you know, shitting everywhere. So that was the the the, the issue was dead seagulls, and there was like I say, there was four in there. And I've got a photograph. He kind of he actually went inside the chimney. Then you can see the the you know like this is the, the going up into the chimney breast now. For some reason, and we have no idea why, and he doesn't know why, you can see it going into a, like, a, a, like a small hole there. So it, it, what he was telling us is it diverted, the actual chimney breast diverted from the original path. Someone had bro- blocked it up. And then later on in, in its kind of house's existence, someone's come along and put this kind of tube chimney breast down, you know, probably in the 40s or something like that. So we had to kind of, you had to send that, you know, that kind of, the flu up, up that way to the chimney, which was no, no hardship, you know what I mean? And once, he said, once he got this flu down, that was it. You know, he says, that's the kind of, the main worry of any, putting any kind of wood stove burner in. Once you get that in, and there it is there now, it was brilliant. Do you know what I mean? You're kind of just, you're away and, and flying and everything is going great. So I took a picture of the, the kind of, that's, well, I'm going to put, I mean, I'm just going to put it on bloody uh, gum tree. And if it doesn't sell, well, I'm going to just, you know, scrap man. It'll go to the scrap man. So what we picked as well, we picked like a, you know, a, what do you call it? A, um, I forget what you call it. You know, you put your, you put your family photographs on, you know, keep the, put the pictures of the kids on, keep the, the away from the fire, the mother-in-law. <laughs> so that was our beam and it just comes like a block of wood and what he was wanting to do was like you know he says sometimes you know we kind of ask to kind of destroy it and make it look distressed now we went down that way with the kitchen do you know what I mean that was being there done that and seeing it and everything you know so we just wanted it pure simple you know geometric lines nice and sharp lines and edges and you just all he did allowed just sanded it up and then the trick they use to kind of really get that kind of rich look from it is baby oil. Yes, baby oil. And baby oil, because we've got a slate kitchen and it drives us mad and the dogs come in, it never stays clean. Baby oil, that's what you put on. Don't buy these expensive things, just baby oil. So next is, there you can see, we now have the kind of, it's all set, it's all in place. And we're just waiting now. I'm just waiting for it drying. And there you go. There is the, the finished article. The lads have just left. And I cannot fault them. I'll put a link on down you know, from where we got it from. And the, the, the builders as well. The builder was called Tony as well. <laughs> but basically one and a half days to get it to that. And obviously you want to see the money shot. And I've got to wait a couple of days just till we get that plaster dried oh that's the wife to find out if it's feet is it fit are they gone so this is a, a park rear one and it's just a wood burn it's not like a multi where you can bulk, burn coke or anything like that and we, we, we specifically wanted just the the kind of wood burner one and he says that particular model is it's what he recommends all the times and because we don't know when we, when we picked it you know what i mean he kind of just get oh that looks nice we wanted one that had like a nice big glass window on it so you can see so yeah all that in and the whole price was about two six two thousand six hundred and a day and a half and if that's it do you know what i mean so it was just i think see i couldn't recommend them enough you know because you've always got your concerns does it will it will will there be a chimney there you know will i have to you know and you put your mind at rest straight away do you know what i mean it was just like we'll get it sorted you know, that's the, that's what it was. So he says sometimes it would get like a, a difficult, you know, two days, but this one apparently was, was okay. So that's nice. And there we go. That's what all that hard, hard work's been about there. <laughs> Purely for the dogs, not for us. But they, oh, isn't that nice there? Bring on next winter. <laughs> that's what I say. Bring on Arctic conditions. I don't care. <laughs>